Why, hello there, nomads and settlers alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and this is the third part in my Practical Perspective series, where I'm going to show you what I learned about drawing houses and buildings, and it's pretty easy. The only prerequisite would be uh, knowing how to draw shapes, like boxes, um, especially from different perspectives. So if you haven't, if you're not comfortable with that or you haven't already uh, watched my practical practical perspective number zero video you should check that one out I'll put a link up here in the description blah 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 but yeah if you can draw like basic boxes like this and kinda like know what they look like when you uh, draw through then you should be good to go so I'm gonna start off really simply uh, with like a very small type house and then I'm going to uh, work my way up to more complicated like houses and then uh, neighborhood and then large buildings so it'll go through all those basic things so alright so here are three houses or three boxes from different perspectives so to make like let's say just like a little tiny cabin type house find the middle and you should know how to divide this on on this shorter end and then uh, do the same right here come in come up you kind of imagining where the vanishing point is so here I'm like these are going off somewhere around here this one's going off way off so I'm still kind of keeping that in mind so that when I uh, have these two they're also vanishing like if I connect like right here they're vanishing to the same points that this this and this are all vanishing to the same point somewhere far off in the distance and then I just kind of connect the dots between here and here and go over a little bit then connect the dots from there to there Okay, we got that in the center. Boom. We have a little roof. And then to think about how big the door is, like, okay, well, we could do it two ways. It could be a two story house if we make the door small. It could be a larger building like this. And then the person's about that big. If the person is this big, then it'll be a different story. So it's kind of like, for me, it was difficult kind of getting like, okay, how high are the windows supposed to be? How big is this? So look, now the person's this big, he fits through play it through the door like this. Remember, this is going to go to the vanishing point. This is going to go blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is a tiny house, first off, but um, it's like a one-bedroom studio how home. <laughs> um, and so where would the windows be? Like uh, somewhere like that, you know? And here's a little quick tip. If you kind of make this darker and this darker, um, because the window actually kind of goes in, usually, goes in a little bit. It's a recessed. I guess it could come out. I don't know. But I'm using that from reference from here's a little landscape uh, study I'm, or a little study I'm working on. Uh, color study mostly, but I put a house in there since I was working on houses, and uh, doesn't look good zoomed in, but see, just putting those two black lines, and you can see it in here, it's recessed. I kind of like that look, so that can help you get that. Alright, so coming back here, I'm seeing that, oh, I didn't, like, uh, I didn't really follow anything point very well, blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's move on. Oh, and let's say you want to add a chimney, so then you can draw in a square here like that following the same vanishing point so this should actually tilt down and then draw these going straight up because we're doing two point perspective here we're not going to worry about the third point or else everything would never mind would be uh, tilting up like this towards each other towards the top yeah. um, okay keeping everything kind of headed the same direction this line's going to go this line's going to follow these so something like that Alright. And like erase out the insides. Okay. So let's just do that real quick from two other perspectives. It's the same thing. Find the middle, kind of imagining how these converge. Draw this middle line, connect the dots from here to here. So. 
kind of a hard angle for me the way I'm holding the tablet, so I'm not getting good light here. But you guys get the idea. You connect these two. So now I know, okay, I'm not really seeing much there. Let's make this one like a big building. Let's go ahead and do that. So now we've got two floors. So let's give it more windows. Yeah, something like that. And then what if we add uh, these kind of things are good to have. Or cool like that. You know what I mean? When the windows stick out like that, I like those. That's nice. So you could go ahead and add embellishments like that. I'm just kind of imagining how they lay flat. Then building the lines off here, I like to make it like a U shape like that, coming over. And then just like a little slit for the windows. Alright, and then from this view, we'll just do it real quick. I think you get the idea. Something like that. Okay. Boom, put the door over here or something. Okay, if we wanted like the walkway comes out, you know, could have a little, put some bushes. Something like that. A couple windows, maybe make them different. Alright, cool. So we can draw a really basic house square house looking good easy enough now let's make it a little more complicated so let's say the house has uh, alright so let's go ahead and draw a house like this so rise line somewhere right here okay so that's gonna be let's say that's the main part of the house main section then uh, I'm gonna draw through here and let's say connected but recessed a little bit in right there there's like a connecting part of the house I don't know whatever it's like a hall or something or another room oops, oops. alright see I'm, I gotta think basic shapes okay so when the horizon line is here I'm talking talking myself through it. It's going to go down a little bit so we're not going to see the top. And then let's give it like a garage that comes out again. So let's say like this. See how this is a square? This attaches to this wall. So let me just draw this wall first off. So the wall is actually, see it's not going to go below ground. No. That doesn't make any sense. So there. That's if like there was just one wall there. Now I can build it out um, further. So here's the front facing wall. And this is going to follow, let's keep it on the same plane as that. So we can keep this following here. And this is going to be something, oh, see, that was way higher. hope this isn't looking too messy. I think when I'm, by talking through it. So now, all right, we already got that wall. No, but we will need that. So let's leave that up there. But see, this can continue thinking of it almost like a giant. So you can think of this whole thing as a giant block. And this is going to be when you're painting like neighborhoods or cityscapes and stuff. This is what I figured out was a much easier way of thinking about things. I'm going to have a giant block. So actually this is going to be more like that. Drawing through is important. Alright, and then erase out the extra parts. So that's not part of it. That's not part of it. All this inside part. Get rid of that. Great. So now we have the basic structure. And then I feel like once you've got this part down, like once you've drawn that, the rest is easy. Like it's just fun. I mean, it can be a little tricky sometimes, but okay, let's move this down. I don't know why I'm drawing it. Alright, but um but mostly you should be pretty simple. This doesn't feel right to me for some reason. Oh there, I think that's why. See so yeah, actually I made this a really intense perspective. I ended up changing the perspective on myself a little there. All right. Anyways, just so you guys you guys got the idea, I think. So let's go ahead and all right. We'll make this roof the the way we regularly do it. Come down to the vanishing point, and then let's make this roof. Let's do that the other way. So we'll have this come up here. Cut something like that. 
And let's have this roof doing the same thing. So it just disappears behind that. So I'm not going to worry about drawing through there because I don't think it really matters. There's a bad tangent going on here. I don't like that. So let me actually move this down a little bit. But remember that the line, see I'm drawing what they're, the center of this box would be so that uh, the roof kind of meets in the center. Okay, maybe there's a window here, and this is like the garage. So we've got like a garage door, or the driveway, bush, uh, no window since it's the garage. You could have a window in the garage, sure, why not? Probably not the safest garage ever, but whatever. Okay, the house, you know. And then you just kind of draw in windows and stuff. You want to draw one of those things. You can draw one of those things. Again, I made a bad tangent. It's not good compositionally, but those things you can work out compositionally. I just want to talk about perspective for now. So this should actually be flat. And Anyways, I guess it could come out that way. Why not? You could design a house that way. But I think it would look weird on the inside of the room if this was slanted down like that. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Alright, so, um, alright, so that kind of gives you an idea. So let's keep the vanishing point over here. And we're over like there. This actually should come out at a pretty extreme angle, almost horizontally, because this is on the same kind of plane. No, a mailbox. Okay. All right. You get the point. Cool. All right. Not the greatest drawing, but you know, illustrating. Them. Hope I illustrated the the idea behind it, and you can practice and do better. Um. All right. Let's do a neighborhood. So for a neighborhood, pick two vanishing points. And actually, the vanishing points should be like way off screen. It would be more realistic. But for this, this is hard to do on my tablet. But anyways, it's okay. Um, I should probably be sitting a different way. I'm just like chilling on my couch with it on the couch next to me. So it's not conduct conducive or whatever to the best like arm movement, big arm movement. That's why it's nice to have a Cintiq. I think tablets are fine. Like, I had a Cintiq companion for a little while. And I think it, it does make it a little easier to draw, but it's not like it drastically improves your art. So anyways, what I'm doing here is fanning out like that. But like, something like this would be easier to do on a companion than on a tablet. Longer, longer lines like this. Alright, and I just do that. Like, on my sketchbook, it's really easy because it's small. But anyways, so blah, blah, blah. Just kind of roughly, I mean... If you're more of a precise type person, then then probably my method of learning perspective is not for you because you can be very, very, very scientific about perspective. But I like to kind of feel it out, and you know, I just want to get more of an intuitive sense. So then I'm going to go ahead, see, I'm going to draw a box using these lines or lines that would work. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make it like almost like one giant box. It goes off into this distance, so so I'll leave a little space there. Okay, and then like another one. See what I'm doing here? I'm kind of like imagining this as if it was almost like one really long cube, and then just dividing it. So if this is you're in like one of those housing development things where all the houses are exactly the same this would be a good way to do it because it'll be exactly the same but even if it's not you can make variations so i can put like um okay and then let's give them well let's just give them a little like front yard and then like here would be the street another front yard Oops, so coming out from here Oops. so you gotta keep sticking to this vanishing point stick to that vanishing something like that another front yard and see here's where it breaks because I made the vanishing point too small so when I put like building 
So you know, it's lined up with this building, we just call these lines out. We've already got the square that it's going to be built in right there. Boom, boom, boom. See how it lines up with that, lines up with that. Just put it up. And it should be the exact same size as this one, except closer to you. Again, you can do the same thing here. Line it up, so you should be lining all these up with that vanish point. Okay, line it up with this, so it's in the same room. And then, okay, let's say I want to make the house a little smaller. Okay, so then I'll move it in. See how I moved it in a little bit right there? To keep it lined up with this one. All right, let's keep it the same way. All right, so this one's a little bit smaller. Okay, I can put the roof on this way. This one, maybe I put the roof on the other way, like this. To mix it up. Maybe here, let's say, let me say I'm going to add another story. Or in another section up here. So the horizon line still below the horizon line. Those vanish from there, those vanish from there. No, that and then uh, how would I do the roof now that this is in the way? Just draw it like that, so it's like it comes around that part. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and fill these out here, and then you know this is going to be the street. So that's how you would draw a neighborhood, kind of thing. And like I said, if you put the vanishing points way far out, it'll look less dynamic, but like, uh, well, no, actually, no, I think it's good. I don't know. It's a, it's a preference. You put it farther out, it'll look less dynamic, but it'll give you more room. These, like, you won't have a giant building, like, coming right up to your face like this, you know, at any point. Anyways, you'll see. Experiment with how far away the vanishing points is. A fun experiment is to do the vanishing point real close and draw the, the neighborhood, and you'll see what I mean. But anyways... I'm not going to go into that. I don't want this video to be ridiculously long. Most of my videos are pretty long, but I try not to go too crazy. All right, little trees, whatever. Boop, boop, boop. Great. So that's the neighborhood. Now let's move on to drawing some bigger buildings, and that'll be the last uh, section of this tutorial. So it's kind of pretty much the same thing. You just have to think in scales, like on a, on a bigger scale. So let's do this. And also, you'll usually, unless you're like doing a shot, like an aerial shot from a from a plane or something, you'll usually go above the perspective line. So let's start off with one building. And my suggestion is like what I did is um, I went on uh, Pinterest and just searched for like big city, you know, uh, cityscape. Manhattan, whatever, like uh, Tokyo, and then just drew a lot of little thumbnails. And in that case, it's like you got to put them inside of the thumbnail because you know you can't go on forever or whatever. So, but here I'm just going to draw. So, you know, I wasn't paying attention. This goes to this vanishing point to here. Like that. Okay, this one goes down. This looks alright. So then you can, you know, like let's say you put a thing right there. Maybe this one a little bit. Right. And I guess I'll put in the description a link to my Pinterest boards for houses and buildings so you can use some of the references if you like the references that I found. It might save you some time. Um, or find your own references. You might not like the ones that I like. So, uh, But I'm finding that Pinterest is probably the best way to find references easily and quickly and then save them somewhere. So it's not like whenever I put references on my computer, they just disappear, you know, that's like bound to happen. So for buildings, little dots for windows, and I just kind of do them randomly, but like uh, I try to stick to like staying on a line, so that's not right, to kind of, this isn't right either, see I wasn't paying attention. I'm sometimes uh, annoyed because my drawings, when I do these videos, come out a lot worse than if I wasn't because, you know, I'm not... Oh, I just dropped my tablet, my pencil thing, whack pen. Anyways, 
they don't come out as good as if I was using 100% of my focus thinking about what I'm doing. But like I said, I'm just trying to uh, demonstrate the ideas. So I hope that it'll be helpful. All right, so whatever. Do, do, do. So then one thing that I like to do, so let's say this is like a street. So actually the sidewalk, think about how small the sidewalk would be on a skyscraper like that. You might not even be able to see it. And then the street might be like uh, something like this. And say it's a it's a four-way intersection. So it goes like that. So you have the four-way intersection. You could put a building right here, following this. So it's the same kind of thing. You know, and think about now. You got to think about the scale it is a lot bigger because this is. So, I don't know, maybe there's like a sign, maybe there's a billboard on this building. Oops, it should be farther back like that. Wouldn't be right on the edge. Alright. Um, and then again, you can think about it like it's the same thing, but let's make this one a little taller. So you kind of, now you can judge, oh, okay, I can make it taller, I can make it shorter by extending this box out and then uh, making adjustments. So here from this one I would do it wouldn't really like if you had a roof on a big building it would probably have to be pretty shallow if you did one of these type of roofs. So it doesn't really look right but whatever we'll just leave it alone. Um, so if I'm gonna go let's say I want to make a building next to it like that so I'm gonna continue out from here like that, let's say, and then we'll continue out from here, like that. Okay, let's go on this side so that it's not, it doesn't get too confusing. Leave a space between the buildings, because they're not like butting right up against each other, so then you're going to have something like that. Let's vanish in there. Like that. Let's make another building coming up from here, so I like to start from here. That's in line. Another taller building. Like that. Maybe even a little, make it a little taller. Making sure to keep with this vanishing point. And then like that. And you could put little people, even just little sticks like that can be people. Like that's even too big. People should be really small in this case. Maybe there's like a public park, so there's like the sign. Oops. You know, like a grassy area, some trees. And then that's like you can just keep building from there. Cool. So, yeah. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And, uh, yeah, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. and cut.